Hello there, everyone. Ugh, I'm out of breath. It is me, Desiree. Thanks for clicking on this video. That's not how I start my videos. Hey, every uh, how do I start my videos? Hello there, everyone. The, what do I say? Anyway, hi. Thanks for clicking on this video. It's going to be all about sunscreens. I did try to... What was that? I did try to do this video one time before, and it was over 30 minutes long, because I was just going on and on and on about sunscreens. I tested all of them, and I was doing this whole thing. We're not going to do that today. I'm going to show you all the sunscreens, tell you what I think of them. Some of them I'll probably test just to get another whiff of scent. But, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about the differences between mineral and chemical sunscreen because, honestly, I didn't even know until I started doing this research for this video. Um, anytime someone would ask for recommendations, like, what's your favorite mineral sunscreen? I'm like, I didn't even know there was a difference between sunscreens, to be honest. Um, so mineral sunscreens... Um, use zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Um, those are the two minerals they use in their sunscreens. Those are very white minerals, which is why usually mineral sunscreens have a very white formula, a white cast. When you're rubbing it into your skin, you can see very clearly there's a white film on you. So of course that might be a little bit of an issue for people with darker skin. Um, everyone has their own preferences for mineral and chemical sunscreens. Um, I personally prefer chemical sunscreens and I know a lot of people like really, really passionate about mineral sunscreens. If you are, that's great. Please don't come at me for loving chemical sunscreens. Both of these have pros and cons. So, of course, um, mineral sunscreens also sit on top of the skin. The minerals sit on top of the skin and reflect the sun's rays away from you. And one of the other great things about mineral sunscreens is that they're reef safe. I know that's kind of a new thing that sunscreens are talking about now because Hawaii recently banned or is working on banning chemical sunscreens because they're not good for marine life. Um, if there, I would say big touristy areas like that probably have a lot of people spending time in the water. They're wearing all the chemical sunscreens and the chemicals in those sunscreens, of course, are falling off of your body into the water. They're not bad for the plant life and the animals and the water and the ocean in general. So if you are spending a lot of time in the water, I'd recommend going with the mineral sunscreen because, you know, do your civil duty, if that's what it's called, um, and help out the marine life. Um, what else is there? I think that's it about mineral sunscreen. So chemical sunscreens are the ones that usually the chemicals end in the word zone, like avobenzone, I wrote down oxybenzone, anything with a zone I've noticed is a chemical in a chemical sunscreen. Um, chemical sunscreens don't usually have a white cast. Any of the ones I've used and loved and repurchased forever don't have any white cast whatsoever. Um, they also, of course, are not good for marine life, but if, you know, me personally, I'm not spending any time in the ocean. I can't remember the last time I was ever in the ocean. I'm in a landlocked state. I'm not in the water, nothing like that. So I personally don't have an issue with chemical sunscreens. But if I was going into the ocean or any sort of body of water, I would definitely make an effort to use a mineral sunscreen. Um, chemical sunscreens also let this, they absorb the sun's rays and turn them into something not harmful for your body. So chem, um, mineral sunscreens reflect the sun's rays away. Chemical sunscreens let them absorb into your skin and make them harmless for your body. Um, and I think that's all I learned. That's all I learned about the differences. Um, I also used to think chemical was physical sunscreen, but mineral and physical are the same thing. Chemical is all on its own over here. Um, there's a lot of obviously pros and cons of both of these. Like I was saying, mineral, a couple of the cons would probably be the white cast. Um, and then I guess just the white cast and then chemical. One of the cons, obviously not reef safe, but of course pros, there's no white cast with that. And with the mineral, the pros are reef safe or marine life safe. And mineral tends to get a lot of more hype and praise, I guess, because it's supposed to be more natural for you. I personally have never had any issues with any sunscreen. So I kind of just use whatever. I'll buy whatever's on sale. I also have some here that I've repurchased over and over and over. These are all drugstore brands. I, one of them, I got at Ulta, but the rest of them I have bought at drugstores. Um, the best time to buy sunscreen, I know it's really expensive, after the season, right after summer season, buy your sunscreen, load up on sunscreen. They usually have a quite a long shelf life. They'll usually last at least a year if they're not open. And um, at least one or two years. I know I have some here that are not open yet, but um, for the most part, these are repurchases for me. So yes, let's talk about the sunscreens now. And if you love mineral or you love chemical, please let me know down below nicely. You know, we're just trying to be nice here. Um, so a couple of my absolute favorites and repurchases are these ones right here. These are all chemical sunscreens. This one's like, has something on it. So these actually, let's divide them into chemical and mineral. 
Okay, let me divide the sunscreens real quick. Hold on. Okay, so I have them separated here. Um, and to be honest, I had never even had a mineral sunscreen until I was doing research for this video and I wanted to try out more mineral sunscreens. I way, way, way prefer chemical sunscreens. They're all the ones I own. They're the ones I've repurchased. I've never had a, a reaction with them. If you feel very strongly about mineral sunscreens, please be nice to me. Um, and yeah, let's talk about the mineral sunscreens first. So this one is from Bear Republic. This is actually the newest one to me. Actually, no, there's one other one here that's newer to me. This is a really awesome sunscreen. So I'm going to talk about all the mineral ones first, if I didn't say that. So assume these are all mineral and they're also all broad spectrum. Um, I kind of find it weird that we still have to look for broad spectrum on a sunscreen. I've honestly never even seen a sunscreen just say UVA or UVB protection. I think they all kind of a broad spectrum now. And a good little tip to remember what UVA and UVB are, the difference. UVA rays are the ones that age you and UVB rays are the ones that burn you. So even if it's it's winter, it's cloudy, you don't think there's sun coming through, the, you're not going to get burned, obviously. The UVA rays, the aging rays are still coming through. Use sunscreen all year round if that's important to you. I personally use sunscreen all year round. I put sunscreen on in the car like I'm that person. Um, anyway. So this is from Bear Republic. This is an awesome brand. It's a vegan and cruelty-free brand. This is a mineral sunscreen. It does have a white cast. The only thing I would say about this one is that it sprays out kind of a lot. So the mist isn't really fine. Like, I'm not going to spray this on my face or anything. When I spray it out, it sprays as if I squirted it from a bottle, like a big glob that you have to rub into your skin. So I don't really get why it's in a spray bottle. I think it'd be just fine in a squirt bottle. But um, I would say just be aware of that. It's not one to spray on your face because it's going to just, you know, squirt a blob on your face. It does have a, a vanilla cocoa scent that is so faint. You have to like hold your skin up to your nose in order to smell it. It's super, super faint. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. It's a really great sunscreen. It's a mineral one, vegan, cruelty free, a really good brand and a really great sunscreen. I really like that one. The other two that were new to me is this brand called Badger. I only opened one of these. So this is a kid's one and this is a baby one. Don't be afraid of the baby and kid sunscreens. They're exactly the same. They're exactly the same sort of sun protection. They usually just have like kid packaging and they're usually for more sensitive skin. That's what I experience anyway. Um, so both of these are, the Z are zinc oxide sunscreens. They both have scents on them and the tangerine vanilla is the one I have open right now. It smells so good. It smells like an orange cream candy. Like just so, so, so good. It doesn't smell like sunscreen at all. It does take a little while to rub into the skin. This is actually one I keep in my bag right now that I'm using on my hands and stuff in the car. And I really like this. I think this is a really good sunscreen. It is kind of thick. I wouldn't put this on my face or anything. I feel like it's a little much. Um, but I think it's good. This is also a really good brand. I want to say they're cruelty free but I can't say they're vegan. I'm, I'm not even sure. I didn't look it up to be honest, but I want to assume just because the brand, the branding, everything it says on it, it's biodegradable, almost hundred percent organic and a really good brand. I've been really liking these sunscreens. Well, this one I've opened, this one I don't. This is the baby one. Um, this is chamomile and calendula. I bet it smells really good. So the other mineral sunscreen I have here is from La Roche-Posay. This is part of their Athelios line. Sunscreen, gentle lotion, 100% mineral UV filters. If you know anything about the La Roche-Posay Athelios sunscreens, they're probably one of the highest rated sunscreens of all sunscreens. Um, this is SPF 50, face and body. This one feels awesome. I really, really like this one. This is one that I really like a lot. I haven't tried the mineral one, actually, but until I bought this, but I have tried the other Athelios sunscreens that they have, and they're really good. If you want a high-end, like, super fancy sunscreen, this is one to go to. I don't think you have to pay this much to get nice sunscreen, but I like trying them all and I just think, I just like sunscreen, okay? Um, this is a fragrance-free sunscreen, feels great on the skin, it rubs in quickly, does have a little bit of a white cast, of course, because it is mineral, but I like this one. I like this one a lot. It is a little bit pricey, but I think it's worth it. That's a, that's a sunscreen I really like. And it's fragrance-free, which I always appreciate. For most of these sunscreens, there are a couple here and there that have a lot of sunscreen scent, but for the most part, I love a sunscreen that doesn't smell like a sunscreen. I don't want to smell like I'm going to the pool all the time. I don't want the smell to interfere with my perfumed lotions or my actual perfume. I don't want people to smell like, are you wearing sunscreen? You know what I mean? Um, so for the most part, none of the, the ones I've showed you so far don't have any sunscreen scent, which is awesome. Um, this one here is from Pixie. This is a newer one to me. I talked about this in another video. 
Um, this is a spray sunscreen. It is SPF 30 and it has chamomile and bamboo extracts. This one is awesome. I love it. This one has no white cast, even though it is a mineral sunscreen. I think it's because it's in a spray like this in a really fine mist. I can spray this and I do spray it on top of my makeup like to, because you know how you have to reapply sunscreen um, throughout the day. I think that's kind of something people don't take it to account a lot of the time. Um, you do have to reapply the sunscreen. This is one I feel totally comfortable spraying on top of my face, my neck, my chest, back of my neck, stuff like that. Um, it does leave you looking a little bit glossy because it's a sunscreen. I tend to get either um, a sponge and kind of dab it in after it's kind of, I feel like it's sunk in, or use um, an oil blotting sheet or something just to kind of take away the shine. I love the Milani Matte Setting Spray. That really, really works really well on top of this sunscreen. But I really like this. If you spray it on top of your face, on top of your makeup, obviously you're not going to go back and rub it in. But it looks... it. To me, I can't see that I have sunscreen on. But if you spray it on your skin and then rub it in, it turns into nothing. You cannot see it. You cannot feel it. You can, it honestly feels like you put nothing on your skin, not even lotion. Like it just in, it instantly absorbs. This is a really good formula and I really like this. I'm glad I gave it a chance. And that's it. Those are all the mineral sunscreens I have. All the rest here are chemicals. So if you only wanted to see mineral, those are the ones I have. I like all of them. I think they're all really, really good. And I would recommend all of these for even sensitive skin types. A couple of these have a, a white cast, but you know, make those decisions based on you, your skin tone, your skin, whatever you wanna take into account. The rest of these are chemical sunscreens. I love these. These are actually some of my most repurchased products and we're just gonna go over them today. So this is something that I freaking love. I bought this because I loved the Pixie one so much. This is from Hawaiian Tropic. It's an antioxidant refresh sunscreen mist. I thought this one was amazing. This one is almost more amazing. It has even more of a fine mist to it, like really, really fine mist. And I could spray this in the car. I'll spray it all over the place. It doesn't, it has a scent of kind of like a little bit of perfumey, like it, it's, it's a smell like they kind of tried to cover up the sunscreen smell with perfume. I spray it on my face. I honestly don't even notice the scent after it kind of absorbs. I really like this. This is also one I keep in the car to spray on my face when I'm going to lunch or whatever, or before I go to lunch. Most of these sunscreens do recommend 15 minutes before sun exposure to apply them. I thought there was one that worked instantly. I thought mineral sunscreens worked instantly and, and chemical sunscreens took 15 minutes to absorb. I couldn't find any, any research on that. I couldn't find anything that said that, but I'd always heard that for some reason. But all of these, even the mineral, did say 15 minutes before sun exposure. Anyway, this is an SPF 30. I absolutely love this. If you've been looking for a sunscreen to spray on top of your makeup to touch up with, I'd recommend both of these. I think they're both really, really good. This one has a little bit more fine of a mist. And it is a chemical sunscreen, so it's just your preference. But this is so good. I love this. One of my favorite finds. Um, one of my most repurchased, this is actually not even open because I just purchased it. It's the Your Good Skin SPF 30 Antioxidant Day Cream. Love, love, love this. Not only is it a really good moisturizer and just a skincare product in general, it's SPF 30. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. It has no white cast. It absorbs nicely into your skin. It's a great moisturizer. This brand has a lot of really good products, and this is one of my favorite things. I always refer to it just as a sunscreen because it has SPF 30, and I feel like I'm putting enough of it on my face to act as a sunscreen, and I really, really like this one. I recommend it all the time at work. No fragrance. It's good for sensitive skin. I really, really like that one. Another one that I really like is this one from Milani. It's the Prime, Perfect, Prime Protect SPF 30 Face Primer. This is really just a sunscreen. I don't notice it do anything else for my face, like priming wise. And I love this. This also has no fragrance. It's great. I don't notice it. It doesn't like mess up my makeup or anything. It wears well under makeup. Is that what I'm trying to say? I can't believe I haven't run out of this because I use this all the time. This is actually probably one I'm going to use up pretty soon. I use this one in the car as well. I put it on my hands. I put it on my arms whenever I'm driving. And I really, really like this. I use it all the time and I can't believe it's not empty yet. It's probably very, very close, but I really like that one a lot. It is $10 for this small thing, but if you're only using it on your face, I feel like it's going to last a while, but I don't know. I really like it, but you know, you gauge what you want to spend on sunscreen. Some of them are very expensive. Like these other ones I have, a couple of these are very expensive, but I don't think you have to spend a ton of money on sunscreen, but you know, there's a lot of brands out there, but definitely check after the season is over for clearance. A couple of these actually have clearance tags on them, which you will see. 
One of my most repurchased, absolute favorite, like this is probably with the Hawaiian Tropics spray that I love a lot now, this is probably one of my most used, most favorite sunscreens. It's from La Roche-Posay. It's the Tolerain Double Repair Moisturizer UV. I was almost out of this, so I went and bought another one. Love this. This is an SPF 30. This one does have a very light sunscreen scent to it, so you kind of smell a little bit like sunscreen. I can't really smell it throughout the day because it's just really, really light, but I really like this. It does have ceramide and niacinamide. It has their pre prebiotic thermal water. Really great sunscreen and just a great moisturizer in general. I put this on my face, on my body, and I have no issues with it. No white cast. Like I said, all the all of the chemical sunscreens I have don't have any white cast. Love, love, love this. One of my most repurchased products. I always recommend this at work as well. This one is $20. You get um, 2.5 ounces. This lasts me quite a while because um, I really only use it on my face unless I'm going out somewhere specifically. But I have a bunch of sunscreens that I really like. And if you're concerned about me having a lot of open sunscreens, I use them. I can't remember the last time I threw something away because it was past the expiration date or it was open too long. I use sunscreen all the time, all year round, so I do get to them. Best sunscreen. I love this one. Um, this one is from Vichy. You guys know I love this brand. This is the Vichy 60, SPF 60 sunscreen. This one is more of a, like, traditional banana boat, Hawaiian tropics, sport kind of lotion. It smells a really heavy, like, sunscreen. It has a really thick, greasy, um like feel to it. It feels like a sport lotion that you're going to put on when you're out in the sun. It feels greasy. It smells really strong of sunscreen. You're going to, everyone's going to smell it on you. So this is one I only use when I have prolonged sun exposure, not just incidental. So I don't use this one all the time, but I, I do really like it. And this is one of those sunscreens, like, you know, sometimes one of these ones I'm going to show you here is a really, really, really fine mist. And it almost feels like, is this even sunscreen? Sometimes I want sunscreen that feels like sunscreen, like it's working. And this is definitely going to take you there. It does absorb into the skin. It doesn't stay super greasy or anything, but it does feel that way when you're rubbing it on. And, you know, it's a heavy duty sunscreen. I really like it. Of course, it's broad spectrum. Uh, free radical damage, all that kind of stuff, SPF 60. Really good solid sunscreen, but it's a little more heavy duty and expensive. Um, this is another one of my most repurchased. The lid is broken on this one, but this is the Walgreens brand. I got this on clearance. It's the um, Walgreens brand of Neutrogena's sheer sunscreen lotion. Remember when that sunscreen came out and like, like, what is the word I'm trying to say? It like, blew up the sunscreen industry because it was like unlike any sunscreen anyone had ever felt and of course other brands copied it like this one this is spf 55 this one does have a sunscreen scent to it as well but it's so lightweight like so lightweight some of these sunscreens i wish worked as moisturizer like the la roche posay works as a moisturizer did i even tell you what it was i'm sorry the tula rain double repair moisturizer i feel like i didn't say that out loud Anyway, that one works as a moisturizer and a sunscreen. This one really only works as sunscreen. So when I'm putting this on, I feel like I have to also put lotion on because I, I just don't feel it moisturizing my skin. But I guess that's not its intended purpose. But if you want a sunscreen that doesn't feel like sunscreen, this is your go-to. This is, this is the product. This feels just like the Neutrogena. And it's awesome. This is a really good one. It does have a scent of sunscreen, though. Just something to be aware of. No white cast, oil-free, really good product. And I think they did really good with this um, product here. I have two more products here to talk about. So first up is the Kiss My Face SPF 50 Obsessively Kids Air Powered Sunscreen. Um, so it's this is a vegan and cruelty-free brand. I think they're all vegan. I'm not sure. But this is vegan product and a cruelty-free brand. Um, this one is another kids sunscreen that I got on sale. Um, I have no problem using kids sunscreens because they work exactly the same. Usually they just have less fragrance or they're for sensitive skin, like I was saying. This is a really good one, and I like this one a lot. I um, This is a newer one to me, like I was saying, but um, yeah, it's good. It actually reminds me a lot of this one. So if you were looking at this one, this is actually a really good brand. If you like vegan and cruelty-free products, I would look into this Kiss My Face sunscreen. Um, I think it's really good. So yeah, there's that one. And I feel really good with this one spraying it all over my face and everything. It's a good mist. Um, this is one of the last ones I'm going to talk about. This is from Banana Boat. It's the Sun Comfort um, SPF 50 uh, sunscreen. This is a spray. This one sprays out completely clear, 100% clear. This is one of the ones that I kind of question, like, 
is this even sunscreen? Because we're so used to seeing completely white, thick sunscreens. So when you get something completely clear, it's kind of like, is it even working? But this really works. I really, really like this one a lot. This is one that I feel really good spraying on top of my face, all over my body. Um, it does have a scent kind of like, um, like um, propane or something. Like it doesn't have a real sunscreen scent. It has more like a gas kind of scent. I think it's because it's in this aerosol container. You know what? I don't remember what this one smells like. Does this also have that gassy scent? Let's spray it. Let's try it out. I don't remember. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm. This one does spray completely clear though, as you can see. These I think are really, really close like products, the same kind of formula. No, it doesn't have uh, the gassy smell. Doesn't really smell like anything. Actually, it kind of smells like bug spray at first, but it does go away. Um, but yeah, this is a really good sunscreen. This is one I purchase all the time. Definitely one to take when you want to reapply easily. Definitely with any of these spray sunscreens, make sure you're also rubbing it in. Sometimes when you spray, it might be missing a little bit of like spots. So make sure you're kind of either reapplying, spraying more than you might think you need and uh, also rubbing it in. So yeah, that is that. And I have two other lip products here. I think we always forget to protect our lips when it comes to sunscreen because... I don't know. I just don't think about it, but I have gotten my sun, my lips burned so badly. I've had my scalp burned really bad. If I have a part in my hair, like burned really badly. I never think to put sunscreen on my head, but I mean, how, how would you even do that? Just wear a hat or something. But these are two sunscreens for your lips. This one is from Sunbum. It's an SPF 30. And this is from Banana Boat SPF 45. Both of these work really, really well. I think they're, this one is mint chemical. And I think this one also is chemical, but it couldn't find the ingredients on it. Um, I don't know. Doesn't, oh no, wait. Oh yeah, SPF 30. It says to peel the label to see. I can't really see what it is. I want to peel the label off. But this one is chemical. I want to assume this one is too, but I'm not sure. They work really well. I personally don't care for the formula because I really only like Carmex like a lot. So this one I could feel it on my lips and I kind of like I'm rubbing them all the time, but they're really good. Don't forget to protect your lips when it comes to sunscreen. And also if you, I think around the eyes is another area where we don't really put sunscreen because I don't want to put one of these creams all the way up here and it might be irritating. Um, the only brand I've ever seen to create an eye cream with sunscreen in it is Origins. It's very expensive, but I mean, wear your sunglasses, you know what I mean. So yes, that is that. That is my sunscreen video. It's still almost 30 minutes. How did I do that? Anyway, that is that. That's everything I have to talk about today. Let me know what your thoughts are between mineral and chemical sunscreens. What are your preferences? Did I get anything wrong? Please let me know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I would love to know. And that is that. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you tomorrow for almost the last video of Drugstore Month. Um, see you then. A uh, Goodbye.